Hello, everyone. Hey, I'm Deanna Marcus here with my teaching companion, Kirk Cook, for um, Monday Medi Moments. All month long, we're teaching forgiveness, or Kirk will be teaching forgiveness. And I will be taking a break in front of the camera to bring you all kinds of great information and a new e-course. So take it away, Kirk Cook. All right, thank you. Hi, I'm Kirk, and welcome to Monday Medi Moments. I'm a co-teacher here at SDG Meditation with Deanna Marcus. And also, SDG Meditation can be found across all social media platforms. And also, visit our website, sdgmeditation.com, and our front page, you will find... Medi Mo Monday Medi Moments archives, and please revisit the Monday Medi Moments. Repetition works. This is August, and August is the day or the month of forgiveness. Not only is there an international day of forgiveness in, in August, there's also a global day of forgiveness in August. So let's join the rest of the world and start learning to forgive. And this month has four weeks in it. And we're going to begin this week with looking at what bonds us and what separates us. Because it's very important that we begin to see each other as each other. And next week, we'll be talking about Recognizing the fact and understanding that most people are simply doing the best they can with the knowledge they have. And the third week, we'll be gathering some tools that we need to forgive to increase our insight and the courage it takes to be willing to forgive. And of course, the fourth week, we'll be learning the power and ease of forgiveness and moving ourselves towards a true sense of freedom. So very good. So now just, just breathe in. Breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. And then when you exhale, Release any stress or tension that you might be feeling. And notice that if your exhale is just a little bit longer than your inhale, you will begin to engage your parasympathetic nervous system, which is created for the simple purpose of relaxing and calming us. Very good. And if you get lost anywhere in this meditation, if you get disturbed or distracted, just come back to the breath and relax. And now close your eyes. Allow yourself this wonderful state of relaxation. And begin to focus on your forehead. That wonderful spot between your eyebrows and your hairline. Temple to temple. And just feel that area begin to relax. And notice that relaxation moving from your forehead and drifting over your eyebrows. over your eyes, your cheeks, your nose, your mouth, your chin, and your jaw, your ears, and now your entire scalp. And now just let that relaxation push inward through your skin your muscles, your bones. And let that relaxation converge right into the center of your head. 
And just allow your consciousness to rest peacefully in that spot. As this relaxation now drifts into your neck, your shoulders, your arms, elbows, forearms, wrists, hands, fingers, and thumbs. And feel that relaxation cascading down your back to every vertebrae, all the way down to the end of your tailbone. And now feel it in your chest. And as your chest relax, open your heart. Increase your connection love, and now allowing that wonderful sense of relaxation to move into your abdominal area, through your hips, thighs, knees, shins, calves, ankles along your feet to the very tips of your toes. Very, very good. And there you are, relaxed, calm, and comfortable. Now in this wonderful state of relaxation, imagine a full-length mirror right in front of you and take in your image because it only reflects your image. See the beauty of that image, the strength, the loveliness. Very, very good. Take it in. Let it be just that. And now, right above the head of the image of you in that mirror, allow yourself to display the words that separate, that hurt could cause pain. And notice what they are. Your words. And display each and every one of them onto the mirror just above your head. And take them in. How do they make you feel? How would they make others feel? Just consider this for a moment. And now allow them just to simply move back into the mirror, further and further away until they're completely out of your vision. completely out of view. And just rest there for a moment. And now, I would like you to bring up the words that connect us. show our love, our kindness, that reflect the love and kindness that we're willing to share with others, as well as ourselves. Just take those words in and think about what they mean to you. Consider for a moment what they might mean to others.
experience them. See them. Feel them. And now, just simply allow those words to drift right into the image in front of you. And begin to watch where they go, where they rest. Is it your head, your heart, your arms? Whatever it is, just allow it and notice it. And now embrace that image. Bring that image right into you as that mirror simply disappears. Feel the power of these words and what they can mean to you in your journey. And understand the power of connection, love, and kindness that these words deliver. And before we go, I want to leave you with a thought from Confucius. And he said, to be wronged is nothing unless you continue to hold on to it. Namaste. Have a wonderful day.